There is political chaos in Haiti. There hasn't been a strong leader in charge since the president was assassinated two years ago. More than 200 gangs have taken over the capital of Port-au-Prince. Maya Fleck tells us about the ongoing humanitarian crisis in a club here that's trying to help. <laughs> Ricardo Pierre Louis is teaching his students about financial literacy at Bismarck High School, and he takes his job seriously because he didn't always have access to education. I grew up uh, super poor, and I didn't have the basic necessities. Even education was scarce for me. He is a native Haitian, but now has put down roots in Bismarck. Having lived here since 2004, Pierre Louis says his heart is aching for his home country right now. Haiti um, is the worst that we have ever seen. The police and government have no control in Haiti. The gangs have taken over, but he says his work, Les Wala V, ensures more than 400 children get meals. Haiti is a country um, that is constantly in a spiral of turmoil. Um, the Haitian people endure natural disaster. Um, political unhelpful, uh, extreme poverty, uh, gang violence. Good, Elliot. Good, Everett. Well done. He's a teacher on the soccer field, too, where he began Magic Soccer, a club impacting youth both here and in Haiti. Part of Magic Soccer, revenue supports kids in Haiti. With all the pain and suffering, soccer is a shared love that unites the communities here and abroad. It's the idea of hope. The, the world is full of calamities, social injustice. We can turn a blind eye and those realities can cause a reaction within each of us. We can do nothing or we can watch it happening. Haiti is more than 2,500 miles away, but he says this is a world crisis. He says it has impacts on drug smuggling, enemies of the United States taking over Haiti and other security threats. Pierre Louis says because it's an issue that impacts us all, people can pray for Haiti or get involved with sponsoring a child and helping families. Les Bois-Lavie is raising money to expand infrastructure and education efforts. In Bismarck, I'm Maya Fleck reporting for your news leader. Pierre Louis also wrote a book, Hunger for Hope, which outlines his journey of how his love for soccer changed the trajectory of his life.